What is up guys, today I will show you what's the new in the macOS Sequoia 15.2 It actually was just released for MacBook Air M3 here, I have it And I already updated, so here you see the macOS Sequoia 15.2, the version 24C101 the main and major update here is that with Apple Intelligence here, it's still in beta, but it works quite well. And ChatGPT finally is here, so it's added natively to Mac, Mac OS, to the MacBook here. And let's go one by one to see what's new. So actually Apple Intelligence is activated for me, Siri is also activated, now we need to activate ChatGPT here. So allow Siri to suggest ChatGPT when you make a request that requires it and let's set it up. So here we have when your Mac works with GPT, it can do more for you. So it integrates with Siri, compose text and writing tools, wor works with a chat GPT account. So let's try it out. Uh, let's put next. Um, you're in control, okay, enable chat GBT here, so it's enabled, you don't need even to worry about your account, so you can sign in in case you have some premium, if you don't, you can just keep it like this, daily limit, uh, actually you will access the chat GBT advanced capability until you reach your daily limit, additional requests will use a basic version for up to 24 hours and confirm uh, ChatGPT request. So if ChatGPT can help with the request, Siri will ask you before sending any information to ChatGPT. Okay, so let's try it out. We have the Image Playground app appeared here. That's actually one of the major, I guess, updates on this version. What you can do is express yourself visually in unique ways across the apps, connect to Wi-Fi and power for uh, setup. Use your uh, imagination, customize images with suggested uh, themes, costumes, accessories, personalize an image, try a different combination. Let's try it out. So image playground, uh, set up image. You will notice when image playground is available, connect Mac to Wi-Fi and power while models are downloading. Okay, I've connected. So let's wait a bit until it will be done. Let's just keep it like this. You, I will be notified when it will be ready. I will be back to this thing later on. So as for now, let's see what else we have. So Siri uses ChatGPT. Uh, Let's try it. Hey Siri, can you use ChatGPT? Oh, very interesting. I just connected the ChatGPT. Can you find answers from it? I just uh, tried to edit the ChatGPT to you and to use it for answers. Okay, Siri, try to find some answer regarding the history of Europe. Actually, as you see, Siri is working with ChatGBT, but answering to me that it cannot work with ChatGBT, very interested. I'm here to assist you with information of history. Is there a specific period? Uh, yes, can you provide the period of 17th century? Okay, seems working quite well, providing answers really fast uh, and uh, luckily the chat GPT is integrated here in my MacBook. Siri was just listening to me so let's see what it will feed back to me. It's not actually uh, an answer. Let's just type it again it's asking chat GPT. I'm glad to help you and enjoy the integration in your MacBook. All right thanks Siri. I'll not bother you anymore as for now. And as you see, yeah, finally the chat GPT integrated um, on my MacBook and it works great. That's I really like in Apple Intelligence that is finally supported here. Uh, and let's try the writing tool. Let's check the image playground, still same. Uh, the writing tool here uh, can be used in notes. I already made it before. Uh, some record summary, etc. For example, Writing tool here, show writing tool, proofreads is working. Uh, although I like uh, and chat GBT, let's try it like this. 
Uh, we have here async writing tool proofread okay it just changes you see it's uh, changing mistakes that's also nice proofread is working what else we have here rewrite it okay hello there i'm a fan of a chat gbt although good uh, describe your change uh, please update with more words uh, let's try use chat GBT. Okay, refine with chat GBT. All right, actually it's working. You see here, and a personal story about using chat GBT suggested. Okay, let's try it. And a personal story using chat GBT. Yeah, it's actually creating the story using the Apple intelligence with integrated chat GBT, which I really like. And it works quite well. So actually it's chat GBT inside your notes. That is quite nice to have. As for now, I see the main usage of chat GBT here is for this thing, for image creation and for Siri. So finally, finally Siri can work with chat GBT. I like it. GBT. <laughs> yeah, uh, all the time you need to confirm the usage, but I think this also can be set up in the settings as I remember. Let's here confirm chat GBT request so you can just disable it and all the time it will do automatically without informing you in case it's okay for you, you can disable it. All the others in Mac OS SQL uh, 15.2, all the updates including here, as you see Mac with Apple Silicon, Image Playground is loading now, chat GBT support so as you see what it can do. Actually, I already showed to you additional Apple Intelligent features. Feature, describe your change in writing to allow you to suggest how you'd like something rewritten. Yeah, just show to me. Works. Photos, favorite albums appears in the utility collection, edition, pin collection. Also, nothing special. Safari, new background images to customize your Safari page. Uh, this I will show you and here we have some Sudoku for News Plus. I will not show you pre-market price quote, some actually back fixes and some minor changes. Of course, uh, let's open Safari and changing the background is not <laughs> that minor, but still minor. Of course, let's just change. You see here you have some nice backgrounds. Now it looks like Google Chrome here. But yeah, it can be customized. So let's go back to Image Playground. All right, finally, this part is installed. The Image Playground is here. Describe an image or add a suggestion from the list. So actually, you can choose. You have some suggestion here that can provide uh, you to install some and update some additional uh, pictures. Let's try it out. Let's click on some of this winter holiday sky fi fireworks. So it should generate an image here. As you see, this is how it works. And then you scroll uh, left and right. It will show you some more images. So this image playground is better right now. So some results can be unexpected. Also, you can select your own photo. You can use style animation. You can choose a person here. You can create a person. You can add like any appearance of this person, let's say like this, customize it, change it. For instance, this lady or I don't know, any others also can be customizable. So let's try to, uh, to write something to create. Basically, we can just remove everything from here and try it by ourselves. Winter New York. Okay, let's try like this. Okay, generate it. Uh, enter New York and we can add some details uh, full of cars. So let's try like this. Yes, generate it here uh, with a taxi. Let's click with taxi here. Okay, so you see a lot of taxis and let's try sunny weather. Uh, okay, nice, looks good. Actually, it suggests you some other options. It's almost unlimited. You can copy, share it, save and report. 
Actually, that's pretty much it, and I really recommend to install this updated version. It has some additional features, as you already saw. Also, it's just always fixing some minor issues uh, and at least optimizing and trying to optimize a better life. So you can safely update it, especially for M series of the MacBook Air or Pro or iMac. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Put the thumbs up and see you next time.